Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Gemini. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. So how is Gemini coming into the reading? How is Gemini coming into the reading? Six of Pentacles, feeling in power. Uh, money coming in, money going out. Uh, feel, feeling like, you know, you can give. You have enough to give. You want to share. Uh feeling balanced and harm harmonious also in connections so that's really good feeling like things are in balance now they're not out of balance or out of whack but somebody also could be trying to relay how they feel about you by way of gifts or money or this is what you're trying to do you could be waiting on a loan or a large sum of money yeah whoa the ten of pentacles yeah it could be coming into you the transference of wealth looks like it will come into you um it's due unto you um, definitely wealth marrying into money also page of wands yeah you got money money news of money big money you want to be able to live life on your own terms do whatever it is you want to do each and every day you wake up with the page of wands here it says a renewed sense of self. So maybe your sense of self or self-worth was kind of off or you didn't know where you were going or you felt like you were kind of walking in the dark. You felt like you were kind of on autopilot, but now it says you want to come out of that and you know exactly what you're doing, where you're going, and you're going to explore in a new direction. All right, really good. What can we tell Gemini about love? What's going on for love? Um, maybe some good sex coming in for you. The strength card. Um, some of you could be exotic dancers, um, do something exotic or erotic. You could get paid for something sexual or maybe your body or how you look. Uh, maybe you use your sex appeal okay, also to get money. Other people's money says the strength card. Um, there's also compassion. Compassion. Some of you, there's like an energy of um, needing to be more intimate in your relationships, more intimate, more vulnerable, okay, more open. Let your guard down here. Let's see, what else do we have for Gemini? At Seven of Wands, yeah, let your guard down. Um, you don't have to be so guarded, you know. Um, somebody's trying to get your attention, trying to flirt with you, trying to get your attention. It's kind of hard to get your attention, and it's also definitely hard to maintain your attention. Two of Cups. This is somebody that maybe possibly wants to reconcile with you, or they see like mutual beneficial relationship with you. Like it's not going to be taxing or hard, or there's not going to be chemistry. It's going to be chemistry. This is how they feel about you. Maybe somebody's trying to go from friend zone to romantic also. Um, if there's a severed connection here, somebody wants to restore it, wants to reconcile. They want you to just, look, let bygones be bygones. At this point, they're seeking a one-on-one -on -one relationship and they're hoping that you are too. This could be a cancer. It doesn't have to be. Last card for Gemini. It could be dealing with a Leo also. If things have been hard and, and trying to maintain the relationship, it looks like it could go to a, an easier time. Let's see eight of wands yeah it looks like things could go really fast okay you could fall in love or fall back in love with one another uh regeneration of love is just what i heard maybe you'll travel toward, towards this person or they travel towards you there'll be a lot of communication back and forth um maybe you guys are going to declare to one another what you intend to do in the relationship what you intend to make happen here okay uh yeah, it looks like a resurgence of love. It looks like the obstacles that were between you two are going to be removed. So that's really good. Um, one card of the near future. Near future for Gemini. What's the near future for Gemini? Really good reading. Some of you could talk about marriage. 
uh, maybe even proposal. Just all things good here, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, Scorpio, Cancer, anybody. Okay, uh, bad health is coming up for the near future. Let me clarify that. Um, concern. All right. So somebody's concerned that. Um, okay, just heard maybe having more in common than just sexual activity. Maybe the relationship is. Somebody's at a place of an impasse or trying to think about, you know, how they don't want to be stuck or something could be just off. I don't know. Wow. I don't know if somebody was trying to hook somebody with their sexuality. We saw that there. But somebody's like, look, you know, the sex is good. It's amazing. But I don't think it's enough for me to bet the house on or to just jump out of the window for you. Yeah. Somebody feels like something is a bad investment or they'll be trapped or stuck. So it could be a no-go for either you, Gemini, yeah, or the other person involved. Yep. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy L a Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Gemini. Many blessings to you. Take care.